Hello, fourth graders. <clears throat> Today's reading selection is called Hiccups. So before we begin reading, I'd like to show you some pictures that I think will help. This first picture is in a theater and it's the back of the stage. Okay, they call it backstage. So here's the stage and here's the back of the stage. You see some pulleys with some ropes to control the curtains. You see some ladders. So that's backstage. And here's a picture of a performance. A performance, performance is a play, dance, or other type of entertainment. So in this story, you're going to see that the characters were getting ready for their performance. Here's a picture of drumsticks. Drumsticks are used to play the drums. And here's a young lady who is going to play a guitar. So she is a guitarist, a person who plays a guitar. Okay, so we shall begin. Hiccups. <clears throat> hick, hick, hick. Clark couldn't stop his hiccups. His band was backstage waiting to play the school talent show. It was their first performance together. They didn't even have a name for their band yet. You ate lunch too fast, Nora said. She tapped her drumsticks nervously. I know, hick, Clark replied, hick. I need to get rid of these hiccups now. Quick, said Billy, the piano player. Eat some sugar. That's what my grandma says to do. Clark sprinkled sugar on his tongue and swallowed. He waited a second, hick. The hiccups came right back. Keisha, the guitarist, hurried up to him. She was carrying a glass of water. Bend over and drink upside down from the back of the glass right this minute, she said. It always works for me. Clark tried to think that way, drink that way. Let me read that again. Clark tried to drink that way, but water went up his nose. He snorted it all over his shoes, then hick. He could hear students entering the auditorium. The show was about to start. Nora stood by the red curtains. Hey, Clark, take a look. It's packed, she said. Clark peeked through the curtains. Every kid in school was staring up at the stage. Fear and excitement shot through his body. The curtains opened. Clark stared out at the crowd, wide-eyed. He waited anxiously for the next hiccup. Nothing happened. Were they really gone? Keisha grabbed the microphone. We hope you like our band, Clark and the Hiccups. So here are some questions for the story. Questions for hiccups. How do Clark's bandmates try to help him get rid of his hiccups? Do their suggestions work? <clears throat> so in order to answer that, we're gonna start with the words from the question. Clark's bandmates try to help him get rid of his hiccups by telling him to blank and blank. So you have to go back into the story to find those two ideas that the friends had for solving the problem of the hiccups. The next sentence relates to do their suggestions work? Their suggestions worked or did not work because, and then you need to answer it. Okay, number two <clears throat> says, what happens when Clark peeks through the curtains from backstage and sees all the students in the auditorium? So remember, that was this part right here. Hey, Clark, take a look, it's packed, she said. Clark peeked through the curtains. Every kid in school was staring up at the stage. Fear and excitement 
shot through his body. So in answering that question, you want to start with the words from the question. When Clark peeks through the curtains, his hiccups blank. Or you can just say, when Clark peeks through the curtains, he has a sense of fear and excitement. Any of those things will work. Number three, why do you think Clark's hiccups finally go away? So that's also toward the end of the story. You want to read this section right here. And we're going to start the answer by saying, I think Clark's hiccups went away because. So again, it's your opinion. What do you think caused the hiccups to go away? Number four, why do the bandmates suggest different ways for Clark to get rid of his hiccups? The bandmates suggested different ways for Clark to get rid of his hiccups because blank. Okay, thank you, boys and girls.